what would you say has been your favorite song to put out? Because I know everybody loves 702 Freestyle. You yeah. Know? What's your personal favorite, though? Um, My personal favorite of all time or just off that last project uh, I put all out? All time. All time. Um, or better yet, you can give me like a top three, top five of uh, uh, Kid Breeze classics. Right, right, right. Um. Man, uh, I well, I definitely got to put you know seven oh two freestyle up there. Not not because it's like a listener favorite, but um, because I ha- I had that song for so long. That song went through like three different song processes. Like I might have recorded that song three different times, three different ways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Two different verses. Um, I had Audrey Valentine singing on a version of it. And then the third one was the one that I actually used, you know, for the project. But, um, yeah, that one, I feel like that one kind of just en- encompasses who, you know, I am musically. Like, just a real heavily based, heavily 90s based rap nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, but not limited to 90s music. Um, so, yeah, definitely got to say 702 Freestyle. Uh I have to say Finna Slide too from I'm Bustin' Moves, you know what I'm saying, with the uh with the with the swinging sample, you know what I'm saying? Um I just thought that one was just some fly shit like um Stolly, the rapper uh, that that was signed with MMG, he sampled that same song and at first I wrote a freestyle to that beat. But I'm like, man, bro, I just I like this sample so much, I got to do it on my own, you know what I'm saying, like, and, you know, at the time, like, I was really listening to that song a lot, you know what I'm saying, you know, you're mint condition, you feel me, like, and I'm like, no, I gotta, I I gotta make a rap beat out of this, you know what I'm saying, so, um, me and Chris P, we, we, the other producer on that joint, he replayed all of that, so we actually ain't even sampled a record, he just played it, found the instruments, played it, replayed it, and, um, you know, put the drums on there and made the song, you know what I'm saying? And that was kind of the first time I did a sample like that effectively, like replaying a full, and then it sound actually good, you know what I'm saying? So got to put that one up there, you know, for sure. And uh, third, um, I'll probably just go ahead and say Count It Up from the Valley, you know. Um, that's one of my that has been one of my more well had been one of my more interactive songs um you know produce i'm um, not produce performing it you know just at past shows you know people get to knowing the words you know what i'm saying i'm leaving blank's places open for people to to fill in the lyrics and they saying it you know what i'm saying like you know it just was it's something that i felt like was my tagline so kind of how I feel like 702 Freestyle is now, like I felt like that was a song I always had to perform. I had to, like, I couldn't do a show without performing Count It Up. I don't care if I had 10 songs or two songs. Count It Up had to be one of them, you know what I'm saying? So 702 Freestyle, Finish Slide, Count It Up right now. You ask me tomorrow, it might be different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. 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 All right, now quality assurance. Mm-hmm. I want to say you sent that to me early to listen mm-hmm. to. You feel yeah, me? I don't want to flex on them. Nah, you're the, you know the first saying? person I sent it to, bro. But yeah. you dropped you dropped eleven tracks on it. Yeah, and I got seven of them. Yeah, saved to my title. Bro. Yeah, now I'm gonna read my off my list. You know my what man. I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna read off my list for people. Right. What I call her? Yeah. Cheese Bippy, that's what it is. Yeah, it's, it's 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 funny because that's what everybody called it, but it's Shea Bippy though. It's Shea Bippy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John's Beauty Supply. Yeah, for sure. Miss Calls. Yep. Get Good. Yeah. Of course, Seven O Two Freestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the ones that that touched me in a certain type of way. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, man, for quite man, that was. On. <sighs> Uh, I, I don't like to, you know, I, I won't and I don't like to call, like, my own bodies of work classics. I like to let other people give them those titles, you know what I'm saying? But, man, for quality assurance, I put that in the likes of, you know, like, St. Elmo's Fire, like, how effective that was with my core listeners, you know what I'm saying? Um, man, it was just from the artwork, you know, the concept, how it flowed with the whole telephone theme type thing, you know, from the last 
beat tapes I put out and the last rap project I put out. Um, yeah, you know, I all the like that was that it that was an album that it it, it started kind of like how 702 Freestyle had three different versions. Like, that album had three different versions. It started out just being just an instrumental project because all, right. all them B videos and stuff, you know, people was really liking them. They was receiving them well, good engagement. But then I'm like, man, like, I'm, I'm a rapper. I like rapping. I got to put at least one or two, you know. You know, I, I got a lot of favorite industry uh, producers who do instrumental projects and they'll have the majority of it be beats, but maybe two or three songs on that, you know, with artists or maybe even them. And that's what I was going to do after that. I'm like, no, I got to put some songs on it. can't just be a beat project. I got to put, but then once I got to making more songs, I'm like, this might turn out to be more songs than beats. You feel me? Like, and I'm like, all right, if I'm going to do it like that, then I might as well just do, you know, a whole album and just, you know, continue with beat videos or, you know, different ways to showcase the production, but let's make this a full album, you know what I'm saying? And that's how it ended up turning into what it was, you know what I'm saying? Man, like, I want to say, like, probably, like, six years ago, Yeah, I was, uh, I can't even remember where I was at. It was up north. Yeah. And this random person recognized me in the street. It was, yeah. it was a white dude. Yeah. It was like, I, cause I was under another brand. He was like, yeah. "Man, you J O F O T I? You yeah. feel me? I'm hell yeah. yeah. They come take, a, come yeah. flick up with me. You feel yeah. me? So what is it like for you? You know what I'm saying? To have fans and have people know Kid Breeze. You feel me? Man, man, it's cool. Um, man, it's cool. Uh, like. I want to say last year, the what was that twenty twenty one? Yeah, um, I had a a, a nice um, what can I say? Uh, like set of virality, I guess, on TikTok. You know, it just started just going up. You know what I'm saying? And I know, you know, a lot of people experienced that um, um, kind of explosion of just like new followers. You know, going viral on there because it's a uh, plat pretty easy platform to go viral on there. Um, you know, granted that. It happens. And um, that was a thing for me, like, you know, seeing, because I noticed, you know, you on, on that platform in particular, you can go viral and, you know, get the, you know, the followers and stuff, but it don't always mean that those followers is going to interact and engage for what you want them to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you could be an artist and have a, you know, a page that you're using for music and do some sort of funny video and that go viral and it's like, that's kind of what they tap into, you know what I'm saying? And they kind of stay in that land. Like I just was fortunate enough that once those B videos started to go viral on TikTok, those was real fans, real listeners, real supporters, real, you know what I'm saying? People who was really tapped in. And that was a thing for me because, you know, I, you know, had a couple of viral moments in my musical career, and it's always, you know, new and fulfilling when people, you know, that you don't know actually appreciate your art, but, you know, for them to come at that volume as fast as that, and then not only were they, not only were they supportive on the platform, but because the music in those beat videos were from instrumental projects that I had on streaming platforms, the plays were translating. So now they was actually going and playing on Apple Music. Like I can remember the first maybe week or so, you know, I had like maybe like a thousand plays for that month or whatever. You know, the month wasn't even over, but maybe like that. Then I went back and looked maybe like two weeks later. Then it said like 4,000 plays. I'm like, okay. It's just Apple Music, though. You know what I'm saying? And I go back maybe two weeks later. I'm at 7,000 play. You know what I'm saying? That like, was working. Yeah, it was really like shooting up. You know, and I, and I could, I'm actually long balling them weeks. Like, I want to say maybe like days. I go back today, 1,000. Tomorrow is like 3,500. You know what I'm saying? The end of next week, I'm at like 15,000 plays. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just off of one viral video. You know, so that's kind of what I mean by like, some people, you know, just are fortunate enough to have that uproar and explosion of followers actually tap into what they want them to, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you can go viral, but 
where you where, where those listeners or supporters convert into. You know what I'm saying? Like they could like and share the videos, but if that if the music is not connected to those videos, then you got to continue to go viral for them to translate over to go to your actual music. Facts. And I was just fortunate enough. The minute I started going viral, it was like five of them videos that were songs that was already on beat tapes. And to this day, that was like my top five <laughs> play songs on Apple Music. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, from there, you'll have people, oh, man, bro, I found you from from the blah, blah, blah from your instrumental mixtape, but I was just listening to St. Elmo's Fire, man, and I like, ooh, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, go, they start going down your whole catalog. Yeah. So I imagine that's what, you know, people refer to, you know what I'm saying, like for niggas who've been grinding for so long, you know, and they finally get an opportunity or get a small deal, you got all this music in your back catalog, and yeah. now they finna go eat all that up. Shit like, making sense. Yeah, and I experienced that at a, at a slightly smaller scale with the whole blowing up on TikTok thing. So, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's definitely, it's to me, whenever somebody don't know me personally, but are willing to recognize me or reach out because they know the music, man, that's, that's, that's always a good feeling, bro. It's, it's just all like, always. I can never think of anything negative to to put put the light on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think you did it the right way. I yeah. think a lot of artists, they, they follow TikTok trends mm -hmm. and they don't, actually create the trend because now you think mm -hmm. gunner locked up and his his top off freestyle mm -hmm. going crazy mm -hmm. everybody making these videos you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so you gotta make you gotta make um you gotta make music mm -hmm. that's one relatable to two that's cold mm -hmm. you feel me? once you make that cold shit it's automatically gonna grow legs if yep. it touch the right type of people yep. and TikTok the the place for that shit. Yep. You know what I'm saying? To know that people went from your TikTok page and they actually started searching you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like I don't know if you planned that, but you know what I'm saying? For it to happen, I'd be like, hey, bro, I'm giving out marketing lessons now. You man, know what I'm man, saying? bro, it was it was legit. Like I, I didn't plan it. It just it, it just so happened to greatly work out like that. Like tick, you know, just because TikTok is just like Instagram. You know, it it's one of them social media platforms that your music automatically linked. Yeah. I I wasn't even thinking. I just you know. I posted a video on there just to see what would happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't have no expectations. I wasn't like, all right, I'm going to make this video for TikTok. Like, it was a video that I had already posted on Instagram yeah, already. Just oh, purpose, that shit. Yeah, just like, fuck it, just see what happened. And when it started to work out, I'm like, all right. Then I got to the videos that the music was on streaming platforms. I'm like, oh, damn. Like, they actually going to listen to, you know what I'm saying? Well, not actually. I wasn't surprised. But like, damn, they, okay, they, they following up. With they with their interest, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. man, it, it worked out decent for me. You know what I'm saying for sure. You know? Man, it seemed like this year going by super fast. You feel me? Yeah. In July we finna be fucking in August. You man. feel me? Man. And like, what would you say is some of your goals for the year coming to an end? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's something else you want to accomplish? Um, well, one of my continuous goals that I that I'm always going to keep on the forefront of my list of goals is to always reach new people. I always want like more and more and more, you know, new and, and not, not even, you know, just a, a big group of new people, but new effective people, people that have, you know, great networks, you know what I'm saying? People who you know, people who's following or fans are just as engaging as, you know, I feel like mine are, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, being able to get in, get in the, the crevices of those who I know will appreciate the type of music that I make, you know what I'm saying? So, um, definitely before the year is out, you know, I want to, I mean, if I could put like a number cap on it, I would say I want to reach and, and make engaging followers out of a hundred new people you know what i'm saying if i had to put a you know a, a a number description on it you know what i'm saying um definitely to just continue to stamp my brand even harder you know what i'm saying just the flash shit you know what i'm saying the 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 honest shit the raw shit you know what i'm saying um the relatable shit the you know 
just just the aura that I give off, you know what I'm saying? Like really make that like a household thing, you know what I'm saying? Or a household thing, you know what I'm saying? People just familiar with it when you hear, you know, a certain type. And I, I feel like I'm doing a good job of this right now. But, you know, when you hear certain music, you know that's Kid Breeze shit. Yeah. When you see a certain setup, you know Kid Breeze has something to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Like just, you know, painting the walls with my brand. You know what I'm saying? Like. And not even in a physical, super physical sense, but just to, like, all right, nah, we know, we know how he coming as an artist, you know what I'm saying? Like, so whatever's going on and, you know, he in tune with or, you know, got something to do with, like, you can feel that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, you know, I think those some of the most or the more successful artists in the game when that's the case with them, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh complete these pro uh, projects I got with niggas. I got a bunch of niggas I'm doing production projects with, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, doing the production on their projects for, um, and, and solidify more ears on that sound too. You know what I'm saying? Like when niggas look at an album and they'll see a Kid Breeze on it and I ain't rapping, but it's still a respected project. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's definitely a goal of mine too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just doing everything that I've been doing and just just stepping it up, you know what I'm saying? Like stepping that shit up 10 times more, you know, just continually, continually wanting to grow and progress, you know what I'm saying? All while being open to learn new di different methods and techniques of um, progression, you know, and reaching new people and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah.